Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Electron developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to increase the maximum memory limit for an app built with Electron Builder. To give you some context, our viewer is working with Electron version 1.6.2 and Electron Builder version 16.8.2, targeting Windows X64. They already know about the command line flag to increase memory, but they're unsure where to place this parameter in the build configuration. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To increase the maximum memory limit for your Electron app built with Electron Builder, we need to modify the build configuration. Let's start by locating your package.json file. In the package.json file, we will add a new property under the build section. This property will allow us to specify the JavaScript flags for the Electron application. Make sure to place the JS flags property correctly within the build object. This ensures that the Electron app uses the specified memory limit when it runs. After saving your changes to the package.json file, you can now build your application using Electron Builder. The new memory limit will be applied automatically. Finally, test your application to ensure that it runs smoothly with the increased memory limit. You should notice improved performance for memory intensive tasks. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To increase the max memory limit for your Electron app, place the max old space size flag in your WebView's preload script. This ensures it gets applied correctly. Placing the flag in the main JS file won't work. It's important to check that the flag is applied by verifying command line arguments. Be aware of potential race conditions between setting the flag and app readiness. For consistent results, always use the preload script. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.